just when I thought I couldn't get any lower, this happens. Want to know what I'm talking about? Stick around and you'll find out. Go, go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. What is happening, my comic book collaborators? My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And as you can see here, I have a box. We are going to unbox it, which I always love that word because unboxing suggests that we are no longer going to make this a box, which, you know, I don't know much about physics. Oh, that's a nice thing. But um, I don't think we'll be able to change it because if I was going to change it into anything, I'd change it into gold, which would be a lot more valuable. But set aside my weird and demented sense of humor... I have a book here that I cannot wait to show you because if you saw a video that I did the other day, I had a very old Golden Age book. And I won't tell you what it was because you'll just have to watch it. So if you haven't seen it, I hope you do. But let me get rid of some of these wonderful packing peanuts. There we go. So they package us really well. That box looked really nice, and they actually it actually got here really quick. So, just when I thought I couldn't get one that was lower than what I had, I end up, first shutting off the lights so you can't see, I ended up on my birthday because I ended up selling... Uh, one of these big, huge packages on my um, massage business. See, basically, I'm my own boss, so I don't have to ask permission. And because I am not only the owner of the massage part, I rent space in a salon. Um, I'm also the licensed massage therapist, so I can make deals that no one else can. And I have this package deal where if somebody prepays for 20 comic, 20 comics, I wish, uh, 20... Um, massages in advance they get 20 more for free so i mean people cannot pass up on that deal but it makes me a lot of money and they pay for it in advance so when that happens and it's few and far between but it does happen but when it does i like to treat myself to things uh the first thing i do is pay for the bills then i did some christmas shopping for my wife but of course because she watches my videos i'm not going to say what those are or what that is she'll have to find out christmas day but when I have leftover after I've done the more important things, um, I treat myself to things because these to me are not only fun, they're also investments. So you'll see a lot of key issues on my channel. If this is the first video you've ever seen, hopefully you'll check more. Uh, speaking of which, if you're going to keep checking, wait until the end so you could check out who's today's surprise subscriber shout out. And um, one of the newest things I like to do is to show a little extra love for those that get picked. If you do watch until the end and you see who's today's surprise subscriber shout out is, acknowledge it in the comments section because most of the people that get these ask for them. So a lot of them will appreciate it. So show the love, pass it forward. So as you can see, this is a graded book. This is a PGX book. Um, I actually will be taking this book out because it will definitely benefit from a pressing and a dry cleaning because this one's very dirty so whoever bought this one didn't do that stuff so i could probably inc um, increase the grade on this but let me show it first and i'll go into a little bit better detail so the book i was able to acquire this is submariner issue number two i am just blown away by this the fact that I, first of all, got the other book the other day. And again, I won't say what it was. But um, this one has confirmed that it is a Stanley story. Now, this book came out in 1941. It was the summer of 1941. Stan Lee started his comic book career in 1939. So this is within the first two years of his being in comics. And it's, uh, there is a Stanley story in here. I think it's only like two pages or something like that. But there is an actual Stanley story. Now, I bought this uh, either the day of or the day after my... Actually, no, I won it on November 11th. 
and uh, made a deal offer with this person. And um, one of the things my wife gave me for my birthday was a $50 um, eBay card. Because she knows I like to buy things on um, on eBay. Now, this book was listed at $1,800. Uh, this is graded at 1.5, cream to off-white pages. And um, they had it listed at um, $1,800 with $25 to ship it. So $1,825. Now, you this did not have a best... Well, I think it did have a best offer. So I made my offer, and they accepted it. So it was listed at eighteen hundred plus the twenty five dollars. I made an offer of an even one thousand dollars. Because like I said, I sold that gift certificate, I had some money, and um after I paid my bills, I wanted to treat myself to a couple of things, and I have one more comic on its way. Uh they haven't mailed it out yet, which is a little concerned considering the price I want it for, so it'll happen. It's just they are taking their time. But they accepted it. So it came out to one thousand twenty five dollars. I used the $50 gift certificate that my wife was kind enough to provide for me for my birthday. And again, that was just one of the things that she gave me. So I paid a total of $975 for a Submariner issue number two, which has a Stanley story and an Alex Schrumberg, Schrumberg or Schrumborg cover. Now, this is the one thing that I could absolutely fix. It does say glue on the spine. So at some point, somebody glued this to the spine. Well, if you open this up very carefully and you pull the cover away very carefully, there will no longer be glue attached to the comic. So it will no longer be glued to the comic. So it would take away that aspect of the grade. And like I said, with the back especially, you could see especially along here, there's a lot of dirt. So a dry cleaning could absolutely maybe improve this to a 1.8. So, I mean, it doesn't, I'm not saying it's going to be a 3.0 or anything like that. It may go to a 1.8 or a 2.0, but if it no longer has the, you know, glue attached, attached with glue, then that's even better. I mean, as you can see, this cover presents well. Now it's missing a piece here and it's missing a piece here. But again, for a book from 1941, that's a beautiful cover. And also, remember, ladies and gentlemen, that bags and boards didn't become popular in the comic book world until around the early to mid-70s. So that means for 30-plus years, this comic was without a bag and board in somebody's home. And look at the decent condition this comic book is in even though it wasn't quote-unquote protected. So that's why I tell people all the time, yes, of course, you know, bag and boards are going to help increase the good condition of a book, and mylars are the best ones by far, but they're not as good as people are led to believe, because remember, the people that lead you to believe it are the ones selling it to you. Be very careful when somebody sells you something and tries to tell you how great their product or the products that they're related to selling are. Now, again, I'm not saying bag and boards don't help. Obviously, I put all of my books in bags and boards. But Golden Age books, the ones that survived, and like there are action comics that are 9.0s. Think about that. For at least 30-some-odd years, they weren't even in any bag and board. They were probably in somebody's closet or somebody's drawer. Who knows? And they yet, they still ended up being very highly graded. It's all about where you store them and how you treat them. Because like I showed even in my collection, like some of my books that I got graded in my earlier channel that most of you may not have seen, there were books that came back anywhere from a 9.2 to a 9.6 that I never had in bag and boards. They were just in boxes, but because I knew how to store them properly, they still ended up being high grade. So it's all about how you, t you care for your comics. So remember that when you're spending extra money on a Mylar, because the Mylar may last for a thousand years. But the book inside will not. So if you want to spend all that extra money to be able to keep a piece of plastic lasting forever, you can do that. And absolutely, it's going to protect your comic. Make no mistake. But they pride themselves in letting you know that it will last for thousands of years. Comics are made of paper. 
They are biodegradable. They will break down. The mylar isn't going to stop that. It'll just make it look shiny as it turns to dust. Because all of these comics, in a couple of hundred years from now, will all be gone. So cherish these while we have them. And bags and boards may slow it down a little bit, but it ain't stopping it. So if you want to overspend on stuff just because it makes the book look shinier, you know, you're more than welcome to. So I don't hate my laws, despite what some say. I'm just trying to get people to understand that you don't have to spend all of that money to protect your comics. Because like I said, with these books, they were around for 30 plus years minimum without bag and boards. And look how nice a lot of them came out. So there's more to it than what other people tell you. So I did want to show you the receipt so you can see. And I'm covering it because it shows the person's phone number. But as you can see... Well, it's very blurry, so unfortunately you may not be able to see. But take my word for it. That says 1025 I paid nine seventy five because of the $50 gift certificate. And now I'm a proud owner of Submariner issue number two. Very happy with that. And hopefully the video I made the other day, there is a motivational type of video that um, will give you some tips on how you can actually get comics like this, even if you don't have a lot of money. I hope you will check it out, and I hope you will watch it with an open frame of mind, because believe it or not, you can get the things that you want. It just requires work, and I have some tips to give you, and hopefully one or two of you will listen to that and give it a shot. So don't forget to wait until the end. I want to thank each and every one of you for those who took the time to share it and give it a thumbs up. Uh, I welcome all the new people that hit subscribe. Um, if this is the last video of mine you see for whatever reason, you're welcome back anytime. So please feel free to come back when you need to. And uh, it looks like there's about to be. Yep. Hold on. People always wait for this. And well, that's not the side they want to see. He, he must have uh, been feeding or something and waited a long time. But people always appreciate what I like to call the cat meows. Uh, this is Oregon. He's the one that likes to be in these the most. And uh, what a way to end. So if you watch until the end, let me know that you saw Oregon in this video. And uh, wait for the surprise subscriber shout out. And don't forget, it's not you. It's not I. It's we love comics. We love cats. And we love older comics. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video. And this comic is older than my father. Thank you for watching my video. If you want to connect with me on Facebook, just click right here. If you want to join our cashback program and get $10 off your first purchase of $25 or more, click here. And then if you aren't subscribed, we'd love you to join by clicking here.